obviously a lot of excitement in the air. Um, I felt it today. We literally been waiting for this moment, you know, since we took off the cleats um, last season. I'm in my office working at night, and now the band is practicing right here in DKR. Like all those things start, you can kind of smell football. All right, guys, take a big sniff. Yeah, that is football you're smelling right now, and hopefully you got a whiff of freshly cut grass and not sweaty locker room. On Saturday, for the first time in months, you and your nostrils can experience a UT football game day. The Longhorns open the year against Louisiana Monroe later this week. It'll be our first chance to see quarterback Quinn Ewers play meaningful snaps in college against another team. As the redshirt freshman prepares for his first career start, head coach Steve Sarkeesian says the best advice that he can offer has to do with a five letter word. Trust. Just allow us to coach you and, and trust the fact that we're putting you in a really good position, uh, whether it's myself, Coach Milwe, Coach Flood, you know, that the entire offensive staff, and then trust the people around them. Trust those guys that they're going to do their job and focus on your job and, and trust the people that, that, are, that are kind of connected to you on that night. While Sark is focused on trust, it sounds like Quinn's motto is you have to see it to believe it. Ahead of his first college start, the Texas quarterback spends his spare time daydreaming with purpose. I think visualization is a big key to success. Um, <clears throat> you know, if you visualize yourself doing something, you won't be surprised when it happens. Yeah, I like that. More than just a sports mantra, I like that in real life. I like the strategy, see it in your mind, and then see it on the field. One thing we can't see is a depth chart. <laughs> We're told as of now the team does not plan to release one, so we'll have to wait until game day to find out who has earned starting jobs. Ryan Quita, that's uh, very abnormal for a team to not release a depth chart. People yeah. have been doing it for years and years, but you and I were talking just a moment ago, yeah. and the whole releasing of a depth chart thing really doesn't give Texas an advantage at all, so... I don't see the point. Why would you want your opponent to know who's playing? I like the idea of not doing it. Mm -hmm. I thought it was kind of weird that they did it in the first place. Yeah, but you think it it's a surprise. good idea. Yeah, just leave it a surprise. That's what right? they're doing. You know, the one big surprise heading into the offseason, of course, was who's going to start at quarterback. Yeah. We know that. The rest of the gaps, we're just going to get figured out on Saturday. Uh -huh. I think we could see at least two, but probably three freshmen on that offensive line. Yep. That'll be very interesting. Should be fun. They're good players. They were five-star kids, so maybe yeah, they can come yeah. in. And, okay, are we going to do a prediction uh -huh. today, Jeff, or do we need to wait till later in the week? It depends on what you're asking me to predict. I want to know if it's five and seven again. I want to know if, if no, I no, need no, to no, start no. banging wait, my head against wait. something concrete <laughs> yet. Just wait. Okay, okay, well, I, I'm, I've been told to wait, Quita. Does that mean that you want Brian to find the, the concrete <laughs> to start banging his head? I've already found a couple of spots around okay, the building. Okay. Surely not five and seven, I, no, Give me a little hint. Five and seven hurt a lot of our viewers' hearts. I don't think your hearts okay. will hurt like that again this season. I'll save my concrete predictions for a little later. <laughs> Very well done. Thanks, Jeff. Thanks, Jeff.